I believe that I need to start this review off with a random joke. Later! Time to review the game that got me into this epic puzzle series, Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. This has easily become one of my favorite DS games. But pop this kid, what about Unwound Future? Haven't played it yet, Edmund. Oh, okay. Crud. Now he's gonna show up in more videos I make. Anyway, this game is awesome, but exactly how awesome is it? Well, let's find that out today in this new installment of PopFizz Reviews. Once again, I'll be judging it by its story, presentation, and gameplay. Finally, there will be... Spoilers! Edmund! Each Professor Layton game has an original and complex story, and this game is no different. The story centers on an ancient relic known as the Elysian Box, which is said to kill anyone who opens it. Layton's mentor, Andrew, actually manages to get his hands on it, but Andrew surprisingly gets killed and the box gets stolen. Heck of a way to die. So now it's off to find it with your apprentice Luke by your side. His quest will take you on a train, which has become one of my favorite levels, and several towns. But the best part of the story happens in the final town of Full Sense. So much happens in this town. You find out who made the Elysian box and a rumor that he might be a vampire. Also, the characters are very likable and somewhat hateable, like Sammy and Anton. Overall, this story was well written and well put together. Now on to the good old presentation. The presentation of Diabolical Box can be summed up in three words. Anime style cutscenes. These cutscenes practically show what the DS is capable of. They were, are well animated and look so cool, but outside the anime, the game looks actually pretty normal for the DS. It's not bad, but it just feels like I've seen this before. However, the music makes up for that. The tracks in this game are so fun to listen to, including the Momentary Express, Full Sense, and even that Forest theme. My gosh, that has got to be my favorite track in the game. The word to describe the presentation in, in Diabolical Box is half and half. On one hand, you got the awesome anime cutscenes and music, and on the other, you have the eh looking normal levels. Now, on to the gameplay. There really isn't that much to talk about the gameplay in Diabolical Box, but I'll try my best. The controls are really basic. Tap this, walk over here, tap this to get a hint, coin, you get the idea. But there's something I'm missing, isn't there? Alright, the puzzles! These are very challenging brain teasers. They test your thinking skills and your math skills. Nobody said that they math! That was my first time on a math puzzle. There's also these mini games where you fix a camera and play with the hamster. There's a couple more, but I'm forgetting them. I wish I had more to talk about, but there really isn't. It's a Professor Layton game. All it is is puzzles. Finally, on to the conclusion. Diabolical Box is a great way to get into the Layton series. It's challenging, well written, and so much fun. A 4.5 out of 5. I'm the pop this kid and... Hello!